2.4 yards, and one of the reasons why, because he normally carries the ball on plays like this. He even oh! Wow. He it. Good play. Ron Fellows up there quickly. And he should have carried it. He should have. Yeah, they gave it to the wrong guy, didn't they? Ron Fellows, a busy night. He had one interception, gave the Cowboys a turnover in the early going of the game. They couldn't do anything with it. But this time, Fellows makes the play, and Reggie Groby comes on to punt on fourth down. Well, Gary Allen back at the 20-yard line of Dallas. A lot of respect. Gary Allen showing Reggie Roby. Roby kicking into that slight breeze now, but he's still giving him about 50 yards. The ebb of and flow of the game, you would think it's time for Dallas to do something. You would think that. <laughs> Get it to turn over, and Allen has to step forward to make the fair catch. But it's Dallas with good field position. First down and ten. They bring out the offensive unit. Uncharacteristically short punt for Roby. Miami's defense playing awfully well tonight, but Miami's Dallas's offense totally ineffectual. They're looking for a spark. First down and ten. The ball at Dallas's 28-yard line. Door set. Sprints to the outside. And up close to a first down in the arms of Lyle Blackwood. And just short by about a half a yard. And we'll pause five seconds and allow our friends and stations all over the country to identify themselves. Back in the Orange Bowl in Miami. 5-10 remaining in the third quarter. The Dolphins over the Dallas Cowboys. 14 to nothing. A couple of touchdown passes from Duke uh, Marino to Clayton in the first quarter and then in the third quarter a shot to Bruce Hardy and for Dallas if they lose tonight the playoffs are over for them any possibility Miami of course playing for home field throughout the AFC playoffs and a win tonight will give it to them that was George set on second and short yardage and he is held short of the first down Bob Baumauer a big tall nose tackle you don't find a many nose tackles at 6'5 but he is such a good athlete. Don, I think you were with me when we did the Superstars here three or four years ago, and we were amazed at his athletic ability. They ran what the, uh, the last event where they had to run and jump. What do you call that? Obstacle course. The obstacle course. That cat did it all, man. He was, he was right there with the rest of them, jumping hurdles. They're going to bring it out. The Cowboys had a draft choice this year. I would love to see run that obstacle course. Carl Lewis. Carl Lewis. That's right. <laughs> they did, didn't they? <laughs> Again, this game having many ramifications tonight. Far up in the northeast of the country, the Giants players are sitting around, I'm sure, either at home or together, along with head coach Bill Parcells, who has to be considered a contender for NFC Coach of the Year. They've got two bags packed already. Dallas loses tonight, and they're on their way to Los Angeles to meet the Rams in the wild card game. Third down. Nobody turned up. Nobody turned up is right. And a flag goes down, and Danny White really <laughs> gets pounded. This could be brought back. There might have been pass interference against Tony Hill. Uh, it could well have been. Tony Hill, who I think was supposed to turn up Bill, ran into Fulton Walker. And Timmy Newsom was trying to work free down the secondary, and I think somebody bumped him. Holding. So the interception, that was a total foul up. Somebody had to get deep. Danny White. I can't blame that one on him. No one was there. Certainly not where they should have been. Well, you either do one of two things, though, Frank. They're in a fourth down situation. If your guy's not there, you're going to know it real quick when you run a play action pass. So if he's not there, throw it away, come back. Right on fourth. Defensive holding, number 77. They call it on A.J. Dewey. And it will be first down Dallas. They keep it alive at the 43-yard line. Dewey, one of the great ball players, but the other players around the league who votes, who goes to the uh, Pro Bowl, going to have to pay a little closer attention to who's playing and who's not playing next year. Pro Bowl, of course, January 27th will bring it to you, and the players are decided by both the players and the coaches by vote. On first down. <laughs> White, and gets it in there to the tight end, Doug Cosby, and he rolls up close to him. But it's a long, tough road, and it's all sudden death throughout the playoffs. 3.40 in the clock is moving in the third quarter. Second down, short yardage. Danny 
right. Cosby comes down with it at the 25-yard line. First down, Dallas. All right. They got a little spark going here now. No time for Dallas. Boy, this has been the extent of the offense. Danny White to this man, Doug Cosby, in his sixth year out of Santa Clara, third year as a starter, and the leading receiver for Dallas coming into tonight, and he's done nothing to hurt that. And the rest of the offense has been P.U. That means not, not up to snuff. Not, not what you would like to see or what you expected to see. Not from Dallas. That's right. At the 25-yard line, first down and 10. Double setbacks. Newsom 30. James Jones 23. Dallas's deepest penetration. To the corner. Right. Looking for the corner and Tony Hill. And the coverage by William Judson. Good coverage. Miami defense playing well tonight. Now, how about that one? In 40 games, they've now been held scoreless through three quarters. It's tendency to credit the lack of efficiency to Dallas's offense, but Miami was getting a fine performance tonight from that defensive unit. Dallas held 159 yards thus far. Second and 10. Dorsett. Nothing happening there. He turns right back into Bill Barnett. And down he goes. A gain of a couple. It'll be third down long, third and eight. Once again, that's obviously a part of the game plan. But one of the things besides the Miami defense that's uh, handicapped in Tony is this surface. As you can see, every time he attempts to make a, a violent cut, he slips. He did it again that time, didn't he? Ron Springs comes in. Tony Dorsett goes out on third down and eight. Ron Springs who really was replaced three weeks ago by Timmy Newsom, good receiver. And he works well out of the backfield this spring, 73 receptions a year ago. Ron Springs. <laughs> oh. That will not make the highlights, or maybe it will. That will make the highlights. Well, that was the play. That was a design play. What he was supposed to do was throw it back to Danny White. And it looked like Danny White was asleep. Yeah. Fourth down and eight. Tom Landry making a decision on the sidelines. Yeah. And on fourth and eight, the Cowboys will keep their offensive unit in. I agree with you, Don. I think that play was designed. It may yeah. not have been designed to, to happen exactly the way it did. But if Danny yeah. White would have been alert, I think he could have caught the ball. Yeah, well. With 158, Cowboys decide to two the field goal. They're going to need it somewhere down the line. If they're going they're to win. trailing 14 to nothing. And Danny White says, can we quiet this group down? And that will only bring on some more of the tumultuous roar. And now it's being explained to, by referee Pat Haggerty. There's nothing we can do about it. Can't you please get the playoff? And you can't penalize the crowd. With, uh, you know, I think if it was one or two yards to go, maybe you would go for it on fourth down. But with the score being seven, I mean, 14 to nothing, you're going to have to get three points to win eventually. But did I not tell you the stadium will now start to really rock? We saw that happen. Up in, or was it in the Denver Seattle game? Finally, they stepped out of the shotgun, went back into the tee. We saw it happen yesterday. St. Louis got out of the shotgun, went back into the tee because the offensive lineman can hear the changes and the signals much better from the tee than they can from the shotgun. You think that guy we just looked at painted his teeth yellow? <laughs> Fourth down and eight. Four <laughs> wide receivers in. Duriel Harris joins Tony Hill, Doug Donnelly, and Mike Rimpro. Danny will wait him out. Won't do any good. And if I was Danny, I would wait. It's all or nothing for the Cowboys, and the last thing you need is a mistake because you can't hear the call. On fourth down and eight, the play has been called a long time ago. The defense has had plenty of time to look over the offensive set of the Cowboys. Of course, there'll be movement. That's what Danny White's concerned about. Now, he's going to have to move his receivers. <laughs> One or two or more will go in motion. Don Shula trying to quiet this crowd. Forget it. And the Lord I'll say you, they may they may listen to this man. Then the Lord say let there be quiet. <laughs> now the stadium announcement is being made. 
The home team, by the way, cannot be penalized for the actions of the crowd. That was a myth for many years. They cannot be. Fourth and eight. It's louder, if anything. Danny White, 15 of 24, 131 yards, one interception. Fourth and eight. Ooh, oh, that's a flag. Oh, you're going to get a flag. flag. There. Yeah. Yeah. First down at the one-yard line. Doriel Harris, the former Dolphin, Wait gets the call. I believe it was one of the Blackwoods, Glenn Blackwood, who gave him a little grab. I don't know whether he would have caught it or not, but I've seen Doriel Harris make many oh. circus catches here when he played for the Dolphins for those many years. I'll tell you, this is just frustration we're seeing now on the part of the Cowboys. No, God. A little uh, what they call take back from Daryl Harris, you know, when you get traded from a team. Now uh, let's watch it. Bottom of the screen. That's Daryl Harris splitting the defenders. You and see Lyle Blackwood grabbing Blackwood who grabbed him. Yeah. Lyle Blackwood, the elder of the Blackwood brothers. Boy, this dude has been around. Came here in 81 after four years at Baltimore, a year at Seattle, three at Cincinnati, and his really found a home with his brother Gwen in the ebb and flow it was time for the Cowboys to do something and they did they did or the Blackwood did <laughs> somebody did well it was done the other two drives by the Dolphins were helped by penalties certainly so why should this be part of the game Daryl Harris traded to Cleveland this year but he had great years right on this very same field and he has the Cowboys close to being back into the game Pounds. He gets it into the end zone, and the Cowboys draw within a conversion of seven points. For the kick, Rafael Sepien. Short kick. Walker will have an opportunity from the seven. <laughs> Walker hammered at the 24. Moreno. What a Nathan, this one he does not handle. Bill Bates out there on the coverage. I'm going to do it all night. Dallas into their 4-0 defense. Four down linemen. Bates and Clink scale play it like linebackers. Marino, bat him away. All right. Ed Tutal Jones, his second battle for 17 yards. Their longest kickoff turn, 34 yards. Here's Reggie Broby. Oh, he's, he kicked one. Beautiful punt. Allen at the 20. And Allen moves out with a fine return to the bad numbers. 15, 24, 131 yards, one interception. Not a lot of yardage tonight. We'll have 28 seconds remaining here in the third quarter to work with the breeze. And then they'll turn it around. He'll go against it. 34-yard line, first and 10 Dallas. They'll work from the eye. Uh, tell me about that one. No one was open. I tell you, Dominic Neal are year for him, but somehow they don't pay enough attention to those block passes. Second and ten. Anyway, Cosby's open. Down with the ball at the 45-yard line. First down, Dallas. They're in Miami territory. 21-yard reception. And the final seconds of the third quarter will tick off before they get another playoff. That was the same kind of play that he caught a touchdown. I mean, it's a big pass on that last touchdown drive. Same pattern. We'll be back after this from our stations. The Cowboys have a first and 10 near the 45-yard line of the Miami Dolphins as we begin the fourth quarter. Dorsett. Nice. Nice this thing inside the 35 Dallas first down nice little counter move. It was, it was almost like a draw play where he went back like he was going to throw then hand the ball off behind him to Dorset. That was a nice move by Danny White Dallas struggling all year. They lost two to the Giants. They lost two to the Redskins. They lost to Buffalo and they lost once to St. Louis trying to stay in this one. 
He's trying to follow Glenn oh. Titans are <laughs> yeah I don't blame him do you <laughs> I don't blame him for blame not waiting mind. for Glenn yeah I said, Glenn I can't wait any longer <laughs> the ball just inside the 35 yard line Dallas first and 10 Door set tries to work to the outside Doug betters trips him up gain of about two it'll be second down and eight not the kind of year you need for a Tony Dorsett when your offensive line is hurt throughout the year as we look at Gil Brandt who has brought so many obscure players in to this franchise he was there when Tom Landry became the first coach the Cowboys ever had along with Tech Schramm you think of people like Drew Pearson who retired this past season free agent second and eight oh. Danny White loses the ball away from the center falls on it he's back to the original line of scrimmage it'll be third down and ten Excellent defensive game here tonight they have over the past three games they have played superb defense I mentioned it earlier 25 sacks in the last three games something happened to them after that loss to Buffalo perhaps embarrassment oh. third and ten Danny White has it batted away and he is really nailed coming in on the blitz is Paul Lankford, but his arm was in motion. It will be, however, fourth down. If you want to consider yardage and score. Mark Clayton will drop. He'll just be guessing with Danny White. Mark Clayton, by the way, was the punt return man for the Dolphins a year ago. This year he's, of course, turned into sensational all pro receiver. And he looking for the corner. And it is not what he wanted. Yeah, not, not too bad. It. Yeah, just about to that. Three times thus far in the season, they won all of those games. Woody Bennett. And Nathan. And yeah, Nathan. Matt Moore. Mark Clayton split to the left. Giving him about 65 yards here. <laughs> yes, Jeff Toe is providing the snap. The crowd loves it. <laughs> he just needed about every out. foot of it. Gary Allen. And a flag oh. is down. Uh -huh. On first and ten. Dorsett. And Dorsett out over the 40-yard line to the 41 beyond the block of Glenn Titanser. He'll get six out of that. It'll be second down and four. Notice Tony Hill is walking off the field. He tried to make a block. He appeared to have injured himself. That's certainly not going to help, is it? That looks like a wind knocked out of me. Let's look at Tony Hill, number 80. Comes in to make a little crackback block. <laughs> Pretty that's not his forte. Back. Oh, he says, what was that? Oh, I, oh that's a, could be a right shoulder, too. Now that's what he heard earlier, remember? Second down and four, Dorsett. Getting it out close to the 42-yard line. Dorsett. Dorsett to the 45-yard line. He'll be short of the first down by about a yard. Hit by Brzezinski and Doug Betters over on the left side of the Dolphins' defense. Well, number 86, Dario Harris is now in the game for the Cowboys and he should be the most motivated player on the field he used to play for this Cowboy team and they would have traded me away with with um, the Dan Dolphin. Marino yeah. come, you know yeah, coming to Dolphin. my team I would love to stay there yeah we have a Dolphin that is down and yeah, we've been on the clock again short yardage offense for the Cowboys the three tight ends are in Nilsson he'll have the first down Close to the 47-yard line. The Cowboys keep it alive. That was Ron Springs, brother. No, it was Newsom. Tony Hill back in the game. 47-yard line, first down. Strange game. Really is. It's kind of offensive teams, explosive teams, Don. And the crowd seems kind of flat, too. They're like waiting for something to happen. It's one of those kind of deals. They came in with high anticipation of offensive fireworks. What they're seeing is a struggling defensive game like that. 
Dorsett spins out of the grass. Oh, uh, he, he slips again. Once again, again. Lyle Blackwood. He gets away from Barnett, but Blackwood is there. Now, with Tony, as you saw, he did an excellent job of getting away from that first contact, and he had a one-on-one -on -one situation that he would normally win out here on the outside, but once again, the turf gave way on him. He's really had trouble with that almost every run tonight. It looked to be a mix-up in the backfield that time, too. I don't know what it was, but he was bumped in around there. They had a little bit difficulty in finding a place to line up. All right. Second down long. The Dolphins like to blitz on it also. We'll cover it from the end zone. You can watch it develop. Here they go. This was on, and White read it, trying to get it to Tony Hill, but too much pressure. And it was Don McNeil running stride for stride with Tony Hill. And this is certainly a different Dolphin defense with this man playing. They do have problems without him. They traded Gerald Small to Atlanta, the starting right cornerback a year ago. And of course, they counted heavily on Don McNeil being able to return from a year off of Achilles injury. He couldn't. He was injured in the second game. And they have had to go with Judson on the right side, who had played on the left side last year. And they've had to go with Paul Langford, and they have not been too happy with that over the course of the season. McNeil does help. Third down and 10 for them defense for Miami. 9.39 remaining in the game. Dolphins on top, 14-7. And he's oh. right. And incomplete. With Duriel Harris, he almost made a circus catch. And once again, as we've seen so often, the turf slipped and Duriel Harris went down. Right there. Yeah. That was almost a good effort. A spectacular catch. Dolphins now, I'll tell you, they're pulling out all the stops. You wondered whether they were going to play tonight. They had it all locked up except the home field advantage. They bring this man back, Mark Clayton, put him back on punts. He was a superb punt returner a year ago. Had a 60-yard touchdown against the Colts a year ago. Well, he can bring it back. Fair catch. Called for by Clayton, but Glenn Blackwood stepped in front of it. And they will bring it back and mark it at the 23-yard out. I think I would complain, too, all that extra unnecessary contact. <laughs> Actually, it was Clayton who called for the fair catch, and it was Blackwood, Glenn Blackwood, who stepped in front and took the ball away from Clayton. They're going to get it sorted out, but I think they are right. I heard one of the Cowboys say, he called for a fair catch. He had a fair catch. There you go. But another player caught it. The ball is dead at that spot. And dead at the spot. Marino changing up. Woody inside nine minutes remaining in the game. And perhaps the Cowboys see it. Over the middle. Randy White pressuring. Tips have been incomplete. Third down and eight. Ooh. Oh, and almost it picked off. It was a great grab by Michael Downs. One-handed lead. Downs went up, came down with it, and the Cowboys will be at the 21-yard line of the Dolphins. That was an unbelievable catch. His seventh re interception of the season and a 25-yard return, but that was really an acrobatic interception. They really needed something like that. Let's take a look at it. The receiver, I think, is covered anyway. It appears as if he had an opportunity to jump up. So that's jump ball right there. But look at that interception. That is amazing. Everson Walls on that more. <laughs> look at Everson. Look at Michael Downs. <laughs> Run the ball, Michael. And he slips. The second interception of Marino tonight. Earlier, Ron Fellows got one. Gave the Cowboys an opportunity. Almost at the same identical field position. They did not capitalize. They desperately need it now. Dorsett. Reverse. Tony Hill. Good runner. But the Dolphins string it out. And they hold Tony Hill to a gain of about seven. Still likes linebackers. His top four picks for linebackers this year. Dave Brophy has filled in admirably for A.J. Dewey throughout the season. Second down and three. Back into the eye. They like to throw from this. White, Donnelly, 
or rather Renfro, and he'll have the first down. Tom's getting serious when he puts his glasses on. Man. One of the few passes that have been completed in Don McNeil's territory tonight. Of course, it was a very safe pass. First down, goal to go. Ball at the eight-yard line. Dolphins bring in a four down line now. Barnett joins Baumauer, Fetters, and Bo Camper. You know, Giant fans getting a little nervous up in the Northeast. The Cowboys win tonight. That's the end of the season for the Giants. But the Cowboys lose. The Giants become the wild card and move into the playoffs. Dorsett. Good running. Good hard running as Dorsett is inside the five to the four. It'll be second down goal. The irony of the Giants and the Cowboys, as you just mentioned, Frank, the Giants have lost their last two ball games, but they've beaten Dallas twice this year. They wondered about that themselves. Yeah, I bet they are. They're waiting on the team that they've beaten twice to lose so they can go. Have not looked as good as they certainly would like to these last two weeks. Dorsett, 60 yards on 19 tough carries. But they have been all tough carries for Dorsett this year, running behind this line that has been patchwork almost every week. That's why I think it's one of Tony's finest years. Second and goal. Oh. All right. This is a touchdown of the night, and we are a conversion away from a tie ball game. A 7-28 remaining in the fourth period. Unpacked one bag. Clayton can strike from anywhere. Marino dumps it off to Bennett. Here comes Flickstick. Tony Nathan. What a nice job, too. And they'll work from the shotgun. Ooh. Andy White. He got back. White. Duper. Down. First and 10, Miami. Nathan. Second down and long. Marino with a lot of time. There's the bomb, but it'll be overthrown. Trying to get it to Clayton and running straight off from the shotgun. Crowd getting into it. They're on their feet. Uh, Marino, Nathan. <laughs> the first down was at the 44 of the Cowboys. That boy can throw Nathan that again. Off. And waning years. Second and six. Nathan. Nathan. Clark to move 39. 2.45 and the clock is moving. That remains in the game. And the Cowboys show blitz. And they bring it. Goodbye. Clayton. His 17th touchdown. Dorsett. Good and picking. Dorsett will have the first down at the 34-yard line. We'll pause four seconds and allow our stations to identify. Cowboys will probably not get this playoff before the two-minute warning. They do not. We have the two-minute warning with the Cowboys at first and ten. The ball at their own 34-yard line. The Cowboys with three timeouts. 35-yard line or just shy of that at the 34. They have a first down and ten. They have three timeouts remaining. They have struggled all night offensively. They have fought valiantly defensively as they had over the have over the past three weeks. But the Miami defense has also reappeared tonight. Perhaps the lack of efficiency on the part of the Dallas offense could be more of a credit to the defense of Miami. First and ten. Danny White fires. Oh! Oh, I can't oh. believe it! Was he inbounds? Oh. That's another Franco Harris move. Down the sidelines. Tony Hill. And I've seen a what a window. stunning completion. Hill, uh -huh. not the intended receiver. Oh, the referees call it back. Arms, and they are going to bring it back, I believe. And that call, a courageous one by the official. And he called it real late. His flag is on about the 25-yard line, 27-yard line. Much further downfield than the reception was made. He's in trouble. Dick Creed is the official, the side judge. He was right there in position to see what transpired. We think. Stunning situation. 
That's number 61. That's Dick Creed. He's the side judge. He'll try to work it out with Pat Haggerty. <laughs> and here is referee Pat Haggerty. The ball was tipped. The player came back in bound legally and caught the ball for a touchdown. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> back in bounds, 66 yard touchdown. Well, the official obviously didn't see the tip. He just knew the player is not allowed to go out of bounds and come in and catch the ball. Let's take a look. The intended receiver was, I can assure you, not Tony Hill. And here's the tip. And tip. here, right there. Oh, is there. that amazing? <laughs> Tony James, was just standing there. James Jones was the intended receiver. The ball tipped away, and there goes Tony Hill, and we are a conversion point away from a tie ball game. You right. know, they were playing a zone, and I can't understand how Tony could have gotten knocked out of bounds before that time. Yeah. Intended receiver is James, James Jones. Jones. Out of the way. The ball was actually thrown behind James. Not a good throw. It was tipped. Don McNeil by tipped McNeil. It. And he says, oh gosh, I should have had it. Look what I found. And McNeil's not even looking behind him. And there's Tony Hill that's got the ball. There's on the 50-yard line. Standing right there, number 80. Catches the ball clean. That and is. just stay in bounds, Tony. Just stay in bounds. Why, why wouldn't he come to the middle of the field? <laughs> Don't make me nervous, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. The Dolphins strike so quickly and so suddenly from anywhere on the field. Comes Randy White. Screen of eight. Second and 11. Nathan. Look him running that pattern over the middle. Third and three and Clayton is wide open. Watch out. Gone. And there he is. Gone. Do you believe it? They can't Irene. strike from anywhere. <laughs> Dolphins are beginning to feel as though they have accomplished what they set out to do tonight. And we'll take now a look. We apologize for that replay a moment ago. This is Clayton. Oh, play him inside out. Don't let him get in any inside. And you can see Michael Downs took a bad angle to the ball. That was number 26. And that allowed him to score, really. Again, that great speed. And Marino again over 300 yards. 23 of 40. 350 yards. Four touchdowns. A couple of interceptions. He just has exploded here in the fourth quarter. The clock is shaking because the stands are actually shaking that severely. On first down. Newsom. Gain of six. It'll be second and four. We'll see the hurry up offense. 30 seconds remaining. They don't believe in calling those timeouts. Look out. And it's picked off. That's Don McNeil. McNeil. To the 20 yard line. That was Glenn Blackwood who tipped it into the arms of Don McNeil. Zip up the bags in between New York. They're heading to LA. Yep. And it looks as though. The Giants will play in Los Angeles in the NFC Wild Card next Sunday, and the AFC Wild Card game will be moved to Saturday with the Raiders at Seattle. Dallas, of course, if they go on to lose, as it appears they will, they're eliminated, and they're out of the playoffs for the first time since 1974, ending the Cowboys' record run of nine straight playoff seasons. The Dolphins, by the way, will be the home team not only in their first playoff game on December the 29th, but also in the AFC Championship game on January the 6th. Should they get that far? And it's too bad they couldn't have played the Cowboys that is like this all season long. Because if they had, they'd be in the playoffs. Cowboys kind of had a, I think they had to come to terms after the Buffalo game. And they either were going to play or they weren't. I think it's a pretty good sign maybe for next year because they got it together after the Buffalo game. Went up there and was supposed to win. Didn't, of course. Well, after losing to that Buffalo team, you had to do something. That's it. Dan Marino, congratulations. He'll drop on the ball. The final seconds will tick off. The Cowboys have three timeouts remaining. Tom Landry, a lot of class, waves to Don Shula, the second and third winningest coach 
is in the history of the NFL. They are now separated after Landy's 25 years, after Shula's 22 years, by only three victories, three overall victories. And this young man, what a future. I said it at the top of the show. He could very well in years to come turn the NFL record book for passing into his own personal biography. And Mark Clayton, you're not far behind. Three, yes, three. <laughs> Closing moments here in Miami. The Dolphins win it over the Cowboys. 28-21, final word in just a moment. It's all over here in Miami. The Dolphins over the Cowboys, 28-21. Let's look at it one more time. Dan Marino. At his very finest, Mark Clayton. Look at that offensive line work for him in there, Frank. They've done it all year. They really have. He was sacked twice tonight. But only 12 times into tonight, and look at this young man.